everyone welcome back to my channel it's Elle I truly do hope every one of you are doing well today I hope that you are feeling blessed and loved so today I'm going to be doing another home tour and I've done a lot of home tours throughout Texas so I'm in Louisiana and I'll be moving on to Atlanta soon but I am home right now so why not do my own little home tour although I am in the midst of renovating I wanted to share with you some of the updates that I have made in my home it's not going to be an exclusive just yet but I wanted to just share just some of the entryway some of the main living areas for the adults and just see how you like it okay guys so this is the um, patio area of the front of my home and I have these two planters that I got from TJ Maxx and then um, that one over there came from Ross and then this bench here came from Ross as well and it was a hundred dollars I only paid seventy dollars for it because the leg is a little twisted but who cares no one notices and then I have this little basket right here for my Amazon packages and yeah um, this bench is really cool it's called an Acapulco bench and I just love the Latisse kind of um or the wiring i'm not sure if this is latisse but i do love the intricate detail of the wiring here so yeah and the planters were about 20 dollars a piece the gray one was 24 the ross and then these were 20 dollars a piece and that i got from the basket i got from kroger this is my entryway and um, I did make a few changes in here since you last saw my um, last home tour for the entryway. As you notice here, I have a new addition, this mirror that I picked up from Home Goods. It was about $79.99. And I love the way it pairs with these new mirrors, um, these six mirrors, I should say. Um, yeah, I definitely love the way it pairs together. Um, you're gonna see throughout my house this color scheme is consistent throughout my house the wood gets a little bit darker but you're gonna see a lot of texture and a lot of intricacy in terms of the pieces as well so um, this black bowl here pedestal bowl I got it about a year and a half ago from home goods and the console table I got from home goods as well and the little um, dough bowl tray there I got from Tuesday morning these baskets came from two, um, no, excuse me, they came from Ross and I did do a little haul on them. They were about um, 19 dollars and 20 something 99 I can't remember the price, guys, but check the haul out to see some of these pieces. Definitely check the hauls out on my channel. And then over here, I got this beautiful planter vessel from um, Rooms to Go. And um, I got the big planter here from Home Goods, and they are faux plants. And I just love the way everything goes together. In this corner here, I just have very simple. Um, it's gold, so you don't need a lot. And I have a dough bowl going that has a candle in it, and you don't need a lot with it. So um, I just put a mirror here to reflect some light, and I just have this gold console table. And I picked those things up from Ross, and at home, the mirror came from. Very simple. Um, this area right here, usually the light is off. I don't usually have the, the candle going, but you know what? I just put it in for some ambiance for the video. Okay. This is just a quick overview of my office. I recently did a makeover for this office slash studio on my channel. I recently put in this little desk and ottoman and a picture up above. So that's basically it. If you want to check out the whole tour of this office slash studio, it's on my channel. It's called Room Makeover. And then over here is my prize piece, my beautiful wall art, this queen here um she is absolutely beautiful i showed it before in my last um entryway for um in the home tour that i did so you can check that out on my channel i did have a credenza here before and um well i guess you can call it a sideboard or credenza where i was keeping my children's shoes but we relocated the, the shoes and the credenza and now i have this beautiful day bed you can see it, how beautiful it is. You don't need pillows with it other than what it came with. It came with these rounded pillows, these cylinder pillows here. Really nice, beautiful 
piece and it just looks so luxurious when you walk in. It complements so very well. I have my mudroom here and um, I don't know, I don't like to keep coats and bags or any kind of mess, anything at all in my mudroom. So I put some decor instead and um, eventually I'll probably take those hooks out but I think it gives it a nice little kind of um, cozy feeling with the hooks. And I wish the mudroom was in another area. This is a, um, a new built home, but the mudroom is just oddly placed. And I also keep um, some candles as well as an air freshener from Zara Home. And um, you can see it there, it comes three in a pack and um, it really smells good and you don't have to see it. So I can keep the candles closed and still, you know, it smells really nice. And then this planter I picked up from Home Goods for $12.99 and $7.99. We're gonna move into my living room open floor pan area. I'm gonna start off here with this beautiful um, wall art that I picked up from Home Goods, and they did have it in High Fashion Home for about $400, so I'm glad I found this for like almost half the price at Home Goods. And then I have this little Tommy Bahama tray here. And um, I really do love this tray. It was $19.99. I showed it in one of my last hauls. Please check out my hauls, guys. And then this bench came from Home Goods as well. I think it was about $150. And it's a DKNY bench. And I'm, I've seen this bench in other colors at Home Goods. Then I have these DIY planters here. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it here, but I just put it here for now so the staircase won't look bare. And um, they were on top of my books, um, my display cases before in my office. So I just relocated here, put some greenery in it just to keep the home feeling a little bit more cozy and open and earthy. So yeah, um, that's it there. And I'll step back a little bit so you can kind of get the whole view. And then since we're lining up here, I'll just go ahead and show you the stairs console table that I have. Um, another duplicate console table I got from Home Goods. Um, I still think it's unique, even though I have two. I really do like it because it has that marble detail and I just, I really like it. It's very worldly. And then this mirror here came from CB2 and then this planter came from Home Goods. And that is what we are working with. I'll step back a little bit so you just see how everything interacts with one another. As you can see the flow that travels through, you can kind of see everything. So when you're sitting down in the living room, you have a really nice clean view of everything. Okay, and now we're gonna move into my kitchen area. Now I did a extreme makeover kitchen tour on my channel. Um, back a few months ago. So you can check that out if you want to see like the putting in. I just changed over the cabinets, not the cabinets, excuse me, the countertops. I changed over the countertops. So if you want to see it going in and the reveal, you should definitely check that video out on my channel as well. But these are the countertops and this is how it's holding up. So I just have this vase here. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna, I wanted a black vase, but I felt it looked a little bit too dark. So I said, why not a rustic looking um, vase? And then I just have these dried flowers that I picked up from um, Pottery Barn. And yeah, I thought it went well, the mahogany and brown mix of flowers to kind of blend in with the other um, pieces of decor and these stools that I picked up from Home Goods. Now I had different stools here before when I did the um, makeover for my kitchen. However, because I have other chairs and a lot of stuff going on, I needed these things to be minimal, the stools to be minimal, and just, you know, sit right there. And it has the black and the brown wood, so it really um, looks really good all together. And then over here, I just have this um, uh, riser that I picked up from um, Home Goods and this little um, piece of pottery here that I found at Home Goods as well. These dishes that I got at Target. And then I'm going to show you how everything looks together. So you can see, this is how it's coming along. And then I got these canisters here, sorry, 
should be turned around. <laughs> I got these canisters here from Home Goods, and these are my books here. Part-time vegetarian, that's a really good book if you're trying to be a vegetarian. And then I also have this pot here that I picked up from TJ Maxx, and I've never used it. It's pretty much for decoration. I do cook, guys, but I use, these are my special pots. I have some teal pots that I use every day, and um, this bowl here came from uh, Home Goods, and I move it around a lot. And I have about three of these bowls. I just love the intricacy and delicacy of these bowls, the woodwork, just really nice. Really do love these bowls. So that is all for this area here. And then moving over here, I have this, these bowls that I picked up from Home Goods. It's about five of them. My toaster, this is about the only um, appliance that you will see in my, on my countertop. I don't like a lot of clutter on the countertop. It makes me crazy and I don't want to go in the kitchen. So I basically just keep these very minimal on my countertops as you can see, yeah. So just give you step back a little bit and give you the whole view. And then up on top, I have my stack bowls and these big old, um, what do you call these things? These jugs I have up there. I like it because it's black, so it doesn't say much. I wasn't gonna put anything up there to begin with, but these were so big that they made a statement and it looked really good up there, so. Yep, and that is it. My dining room area here, and um, I've shown you these chairs on my dining room makeover. I do change up a lot, um, even though I do a, a, a makeover, it's never cohesive until I put everything together. So some of the items do change, like the lighting, for instance, changed in order to blend in with the lighting in the kitchen. Can see it there, it is industrial lighting. These, these three here, um, pendant lights came with the home. I wasn't too fond of them when I moved into the home, but I fell in love with the entire home. So I don't want to change up too much. I, I'm tempted, but I didn't want to, you know, change up too much of the home. So I just made it work and went and picked this up. Inexpensive lighting from Lowe's. And then these chairs here, you've seen them. Um, one, these two are stationary. The ones across here are stationary. And then these two on the side swivel, you can get right in and sit down, very comfortable. It's great to eat on, great to play games on. This is the only seating like this, the formal seating that I have in here because I am not really a formal dining room person. So yeah, this works out pretty well. The table I thrifted for about $50. It does have a piece, an extender, um, the leaf. So it does work. Um, and then this bowl I got from at home. And then these, um, these are actually bowls and uh, from Tommy Bahama. They're bowls and trays, I should say. And they were um, $19.99 and $24.99 a piece. I thought it was a little bit too expensive and I had intended on returning them, but it just, I thought to just pop it right on the wall here. And then across from me right here, you can see me, hey everybody, you can see this mirror that I picked up from Home Goods. Um, it's really nice, really nice. I decided to just lean it right here in the corner. It was perfect to give the dining room some elegance. Um, it's very sturdy and I also have this bench here. So if you don't wanna sit by the table or if you have that fourth or fifth person, um, you could either cop a squat on the um, little windowsill there or on this little bench. So yeah, and then I just have my black drapes and then I'll just step back to show you how it all works together, how it all comes together here for me. So I like to give, you know, the whole view so you can see how everything works together. See how everything just kind of blends in the browns, blacks, grays, and whites. And also I have these two big vessels here, $59.99 and $79.99 for these big vessels. They've been with me for quite a while. I picked them up from Home Goods. I just absolutely love them and I thought it tied in really well 
over here with everything else. So this is a big open floor plan, as you can see here, and I'll just tell you about each piece and then just give you a once over of the whole home. So um, let's start off over here with these shelves. Now I put these rustic shelves in myself. I'm very proud to say that I did it. I went to um, Home Depot, I had them cut, I had them, I stained them, I went and bought the stain and um, it wasn't the easiest thing to do, but I did it because of determination. So I'm glad that the interior designer in me is going well as well. And that's the difference between staging and interior design. Interior design for me is when you actually start, you know, designing the interior of the home and staging is just when you work with the existing interior of the home. So these were added in and um, these pieces, mostly everything here came from Home Goods and Ross and Tuesday morning. And these beautiful links actually came from Pottery Barn. Aren't they lovely? I just really love them. And um, and then this cabinet down here came from Ross and the stool, the stool next to it came from Ross and you can pull it out and sit. So everything in my home is about comfortability and um, just relaxing and you know just finding a seat to sit down and stop and think for a minute. And that's pretty much how I roll. Um, very eccentric type of person and my design in my home is eclectic. I don't have one, I love everything. I embrace all types of design and that's pretty much why I have so many halls and home decor. So yes, then I'm gonna move into um, these chairs over here and um these came from tuesday morning they were 179 a piece and the table uh 79 from ross this was from pottery barn this urn or canister here it opens up and i do keep things in there guys yes and that's that then my coffee table here um this came from tuesday morning really nice piece and it's uh two tiered so it has a bottom level where I keep my um, coffee table books and then this black crystal here and a candle and then this um, CB2 vase and I just put some dried um, leftover Pottery Barn um, flowers. And then here is my couch that I picked up from Rooms To Go. This couch gave me a bit of a headache, but I made it work. It was only $1,000 for this big sectional. It's very great. I sleep on here sometimes. When we're watching movies, we just fall asleep. It is a great um, conversation piece. Um, in terms of, when I say conversation piece, I mean, it's great to have conversations with. I mean, people can sit anywhere. So it kind of surrounds the area, really brings everything together. And I, I just really do love the couch now. And then the pillows I picked up from Home Goods. The throws are from Home Goods. Um, and then let's talk about this rug for a second, guys. Let me move back over here. Okay, so this rug here was actually um, a almost a take back rug, I should say, because I wasn't going to keep it. I went, I found about ten different rugs that I was trying to work with. It was really hard for me to choose a rug for this area. I had a jute rug and then I took it apart. I took it back rather. It was coming apart, it was unraveling. And then I really wanted something like that jute look or feel and this rug really did it for me and it's actually on the wrong side. So I had to get creative here. See, now this is the rug, how it really is supposed to look. This is the right side and this is the back side of it. And that worked very well because it has the black and the creams and the grays in it. And it just went perfectly when I started to use my imagination. So most of my pieces I have to create. I don't necessarily always leave it the way as is. I usually tend to do something more with a piece when I get it um, instead of just leaving it as is. And that's just the creativity in me or you know, just the nutty part of me, I should say. Um, this table here came from Home Goods, and I got that at a discount because look at what they did here. They wrote on the top of it, so they gave it to me for like 30% off. I'm always looking for a discount, guys. And then there's this bench back here from Ross. It was about $79.99. It goes right across. I have that basket there. That's where we keep all the um, pillows, extra pillows, extra blankets, throw blankets. I don't use these throws for sleeping or covering with those are for decor purposes only so the blankets and cords and all kinds of things just drops right there in the basket and then 
Yeah, you can see it there. I will take you guys outside to my patio area, but it is wet out there. It just finished raining and the sun came out. So yeah, and then I have my TV. Um, this is my video playing, guys. Yeah, that's that's that, that's Leslie's video. Check out my Pottery Barn video. Okay, so anyway, um, over here is the same thing like on the other side over there and I'm gonna step back so you can get a full view a lot of the pieces are the same except for the bottom shelf here these are just some bowls that I got and um, this um, stack house vase smoke stack house I can't remember it's a CB2 vase guys and that was like the most expensive piece that I splurged on I really don't know why I did it and then I have um, another set of links and some the same exact thing from one side to the next. So I'm gonna step back and show you how it looks all together now, all together now. And yes, oops, look at Leslie. She got her cord hanging out. Ooh, 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 look at Leslie. <laughs> anyway, no, um, but I'm gonna take care of that eventually one day. But for right now, no one really sees it. Um, the rock covers it here. I picked this up from CB2 actually. So um, yeah, it's, it's covered, I painted it white. I have to go paint the rest of it white, but I'll do it some other day, some other time when I feel like it. Oh, I forgot to tell you about this coffee table, um, this bowl actually that I picked up from Restoration Hardware. It's about 150 and I got it from the RH outlet. And just a candle that I got from Tuesday morning and then you can see this here, this crystal. And then over here, this is two trays for the remote and some books. Um, this Nina Simone book that I've been reading, her biography. So it's the same exact lighting that I have there and it continues on. And then you can see, I'll give you a closer look. Um, see, so that's how everything looks together. And then over here, I have my beautiful wall art. I picked up these six pieces from um, home goods and I found another one at Tuesday morning. So they were hard to come by, but I brought them home. I had four at first and then I picked up two more and I decided to make some real wall art out of them. And they're two small pieces, two larger pieces, and then two small pieces on the side. And then down here is a credenza um, or the sideboards, I should say. There are two of them. And then I have these lamps. And the um, sideboards came from Home Goods. And then I've had this um, bowl from TJ Maxx. I got it last year. And then this bowl I got from Home Goods. I love the lighting because I'm not a lamp person, guys. I just, you know, like minimal lamps. So these worked out fine. And you can see how much how great they are, they can do this. So yeah. I just move it back like that and compliments really nice. And then here's another one of my favorite home decor pieces. This basket I picked up from Ross for $49.99. Okay guys, so I'm gonna give you a once over of my whole entire home. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate you all.